Uh, he's going to be with us at Jam in the Van in a couple weeks. Tell people because they should be afraid. Gabriel Aviso! <laughs> and another person. Can you keep playing the music? Yeah, yeah, keep playing the music. He's coming up here. He's so freaking cool. Love this guy. Very good guy. The most Italian man I know. If he, was, if he wasn't wearing shoes, he'd be slipping on the floor in olive oil, coming from his feet. Chris Greco! Oh, thank you, beautiful. Alright, I'm super excited about this battle. I love that they put the cashier from Zoomies to battle the manager from Hot Topic. <laughs> Chris looks like he got fired from a Hot Topic because he kept on getting day drunk with the teenagers that hang out at the food court. <laughs> you calling me a creep? <laughs> That's crazy. Gabe gets a new tattoo for every 17-year-old he sleeps with. That's insane. <laughs> <laughs> He looks like he shows up to quinceañeras he's not invited to. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy because this Italian keeps on asking if he could come to my cousin's quinceañera because he heard when in Mexico a woman turns. Fuck, I fucked up. It's okay. I fucked up. He's talking they don't so good. So I fucking hate greasy fucking Italian so much. You fucking dumb piece of shit. Uh, I, damn you fucking idiot. You look like a Monster Energy drink collabed with To Catch a Predator. I fucking, I fucking He's hate it. Let's go. Hi everybody. I'm Chris. I run Roast Battle Chicago. Uh, that's Gabe. He runs from child support payments. <laughs> <laughs> It's a weird roast. It's a weird roast. I feel like I'd be roasted by the monster from Where the Wild Things Are. It's great. <laughs> uh, yeah, dude. I love that man. You fucking dumb piece of shit. <laughs> oh my god. I fucking hate it, dude. I hate that the guy from Warp Tour is kicking my ass right now, dude. You're, I, I'm a creep. I thought you were creepy. He kind of looks like a bartender that puts pills in women's drinks and calls the cocktail My Chemical Romance. <laughs> Fucking idiot. Oh, we're pulled a bunch of dudes. Keep it coming. You look like a fucking Muppet that sells Adderall to teenagers. You fucking... <laughs> you look like you do Adderall with teenagers. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they're more fun. All right, that was me. That was mine. Oh, okay. Well, uh... Was yeah, it yours? Yeah, I don't know. You fucking creepy, dumb piece of shit. Dude, <laughs> Chris looks like his idea of foreplay is lighting a candle and cutting himself to anime. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. So uh, uh, Gabe claims that he's not whitewashed, which is hilarious. Um, it's weird because Gabe exudes all the fucking Mexican heritage of a, the Cinco de Mayo section at an Indiana Walgreens. <laughs> all right, I didn't, I didn't want to, I didn't want to bring his girlfriend into this, but dude, anytime you ask him about his girlfriend, he never has a nice thing to say about her. Last time I asked I about, her. last time I asked about her, he said that she was a minor inconvenience. But really, he's just, he just means that it's inconvenient that she's a minor, so. It is, it, it makes it difficult at bars. Um, uh, Gabe used to be addicted to diet pills. Because <laughs> he has the personality of a 14-year-old girl. Gabe, Gabe has, he listens to pop punk, and he has a marker, he markers his name all over the city. Uh-oh, rebel alert. Uh, <laughs> Okay, you're everybody, hard. everybody, watch out! At this rate, Gabe is on track to shoplifting tens of dollars worth of nose rings from your local Claire's. You look like you would chase me out of a Claire's. Yeah, you fucking. They have good prices. <laughs> Chris looks like he got uh, kicked out of his Italian family because he asked if there was anything vegan to eat. <laughs> Gabe is the guy that girls fuck when they think they're communists. <laughs> They cannot, they cannot resist. They can't resist the five foot Mexican that dresses like the mannequin in a Pilsen thrift store. It's crazy. Dude, you look like a street magician whose only trick is making women forget the night before. <laughs> it's a, that's my closing uh, bit. But, uh, no, no, I got one more. I got one more. Uh, Gabe's what happens when guys use Pinterest. 
<laughs> Gabe looks like he makes social justice latte art. <laughs> All right, all right, let's... After the, show, after the show, you can find me on Instagram and you can find Gabe using the term leave your truth, unironically. <laughs> Let, let's wrap this up. He has to go home and teach his girlfriend how to tie her shoes. So. <laughs> all, right. all right, give it up for Gabe and Chris. Give it up for Gabe <laughs> Holy shit, wasn't that something else? Oh my God, are you deeply offended by these two gentlemen? No, no, not at all. That's all right, you've seen worse, you've seen worse. God bless you. I'm sorry we put you in the front row. All right, there we go. All right, we're gonna keep it going. Oh my God, I had so much fun. Let's go to Joe. Joe, what do you think? Uh, that, was, that was a lot of fun. I love watching two close friends call each other pedophiles for 10 minutes. <laughs> but no, this is, it's hard. Uh, choosing between a Mexican and Italian, I feel like a suburban housewife picking a landscaper. <laughs> um, I will, I will say, like, I, obviously, like, Chris got off to a, a very hot start, and I think the audience, you guys are great, uh, but I think Gabe didn't get the credit he deserved for some of those jokes. I think it was closer than it felt at times, but I am going to go with Chris, ultimately. All right, we got one for Chris. One for Chris. All right, Selma, what do you think? Um, I do think it's kind of crazy that we had Derry Potter, and now we have if Hagrid were a barista. That's kind of, <laughs> so I'm going to have to go with Chris on this. All right, two for Chris, two for Chris. I'm gonna shake it up, I'm gonna go to Mo. I'm gonna shake up the order, I'm gonna go to Mo. Mo, Mo, what do you think? Y'all outfits are way better than the first roast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just looking forward to that comment. <laughs> Something. Um, let me tell you, you, um, Gabe, you had a good little flow going about you, and then you fucked your joke up. I, I, I know, I can fucking you tell me what it was? <laughs> Can you tell me what it was? Well, the second one? Man, how many did you fuck up? <laughs> I mean, I, I felt like I was getting slaughtered. I don't know. It was. The, I think I stumbled on the second one. I can't remember what it was. Um, I think I was like riffing. Okay. It was something racist that I don't appreciate. <laughs> I can't. I can't remember what it was. It doesn't matter. Don't don't talk to me about racism. Keep going. Something racist I didn't appreciate. Oh my God. Okay. No, I really. Uh, I thought y'all were both very funny because I know that y'all cool. Y'all close. I like that y'all was able to like cross the line completely. I don't know if y'all can be friends after this, but like. I, 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 I like we're gonna, we're gonna make out after this. It's gonna be hard. It's gonna be really fun. Yeah. Like. I don't know <laughs> Pedophile shit going on. Okay, but I am gonna, I'm honestly gonna go with Chris. Cause it just All right, out. Chris wins it. Chris wins it. What do you think? I'm going to say, man. It's, it's, no, it's a cool battle. It's Ukrainian Peter Parker versus Aquaman if he drowned. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love this battle. I really love this battle. Okay, look, first of all, I would never drown. I'm a wetback, so. Oh. You're still underwater. <laughs> Hey, on, calm down, Cody and Cambrio. Let's keep it going here. What do you think, Jay? No, that was a fun battle, but yeah, I think I got to hand it off to Chris. That was really fun to watch. All right, Chris Chris. Should I still ask the audience what they thought? It's all good. Chris wins it. Oh, they already left. They already fucking left. Game two was like, oh, we're going to deal with this shit. Uh, no, honestly, give it up for them. Absolutely fantastic. Seriously. Oh, my God.